And this is what I call music. Composed by Johann Sebastian Bach and performed by the Young People's String Orchestra, please enjoy Air from Suite Number no. 3.
We thought you might like to meet some of our musicians who are up here playing today. Would you like to meet uh, some of them? Great. I'd like to ask our volunteers from each section to please uh, make your way up here to the front of the stage. And while they do that, I was wondering if maybe we could try something all together. You see, whether you're doing sleight of hand or playing an instrument, your fingers can get quite a workout. So I'd like to try a little finger exercise with everybody here tonight, uh, right here in uh, the audience. If everyone could please put two hands out in front of you like this. Very good. Everybody, grown-ups too, everybody's going to experience something very unusual right where you're sitting. So just wiggle your fingers like this. Very nice. Good. Shake your hands out a little bit like this. Very good. Now everyone give me two thumbs up. Perfect. Now turn those upside down, please. Very nice. And cross one arm over the other. Perfect. Now clasp your hands together. Good. Make sure your thumbs are pointing down to the floor. That's important. Straight down to the floor. Good. And everybody wiggle your thumbs. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to do a little exercise in coordination here. Everyone uh, see if you can wiggle the pinky of your right hand. A little tricky when you're twisted up. Very nice. Very nice. And now uh, wiggle the pinky of your left hand. Very nicely done. Good. Now wiggle your thumbs again. Good. Now, everybody, everybody do this. <laughs> now, to welcome our musicians to the front of the stage, everyone, please do this. We have some representatives here from each section of the orchestra. We have some violins. We have violas, and we have cellos, and I thought it would be fun if we did a quick little interview uh, with each of them to see what it's like to play in the orchestra. And hello, what is your name? Angelica. Angelica. Everyone say hello to Angelica. And Angelica, what is this you're holding here? A violin. A violin. How long have you been playing the violin? Five years, since I was seven years old. Wow. Very nice. And um, what made you choose the violin? I remember you saying that you don't even remember picking it. You were so young, right? But, um, I was small, so I thought since it's a small instrument, I could play it. Perfect. A very good reason to pick the violin. Very nicely done. And uh, hello there. Your name? Andrew. And Andrew, what's your favorite part about uh, playing the violin in the orchestra? Um, my favorite part is making new friends and um, making great music. Absolutely. Very good reasons indeed. <laughs> Hello, sir. Your name? Keisha. And I know you have an interesting reason why you chose the violin. Yeah. Well, I sort of wanted to play the high notes. You like to play yeah. the high notes. Very nice. And um, how often do you practice every day? I'm supposed to practice one to two hours a day. What is all that supposed to stuff? <laughs> uh, I might sometimes forget. Oh, okay. <laughs> Forgets. Okay, if your folks are out there, he's forgetting to practice. And uh, now, an instrument that looks kind of like a violin, but it's different, right? This is the viola, and your name? Mava. And Mava, uh, can you tell us the difference between a viola and a violin? Um, the viola, we have a C string, while the violins have an E string, and we sound more warm and prettier. <laughs> Sounds like a little rivalry going on here. And hello, what's your name? Genevieve. And uh, Genevieve, uh, since you guys are so much prettier than the violins, um, what, what's your favorite part about playing the pretty instrument, the viola? Well, I like being able to play pretty low, but also being able to play high without being as squeaky as the violins. So. <laughs> He'll be in the parking lot after the show. And hello, your name? Uh, Cameron. Now, Cameron, you have uh, a cello here. And what is the purpose of the cello in the orchestra? It, um, it plays the deeper notes that the, uh, oh, the, it has a medium range, so it can hit lower notes than the violins, but higher notes than the uh, basses. Very nice. So it does a little bit of both. Very good. And I remember you telling me about a little trick that you had when you're practicing. Some of you guys may want to hear about this, too. Well, my parents are in the audience, and I, they don't know yet. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK. That'll just be our little secret. And um, hello there. What's your name? Nora. Nora. And Nora, how old are you? 10. You're 10 years old? That's amazing. That's how old I was when I was 10. But when I was 10, I was not playing the cello. Uh, <laughs> Nora, how, um, it, it's a pretty big instrument. In fact, it's almost as tall as you. How do you carry this around? Well, you can carry it um, in, with your case. 
case you have handles on the side so you can carry it using the handles or you can put it on your back. Oh, put it on your back. Very cool. And does it fit uh, in your parents' car? Yeah. It does. I guess there's always room for cello. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Now, I do understand that there are a few different ways to play these instruments that you're looking at. And uh, the first way is called pizzicato, which is fun to say. It's like pizza. Pizzicato. And uh, in fact, let's all try and say that together on the count of three. Let's all say pizzicato. Here we go. One, two, three. Very nice. 